Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the next question. That is a GATE CSE 2010 question 50. Okay, yes. So let us start. So consider a complete undirected graph with the vertices 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so entry W of I, J in the matrix is nothing but weight given. Okay, so below is the weight of I, J. Okay, so I got the point. So what is the minimum possible weight of a spanning tree T? Okay, so again this concept also belongs to spanning tree. So what is the condition in spanning tree guys? So if you are having n number of vertices, so it just equal to n minus 1. So that is the only rule here. Okay. In this graph such that the such that vertex vertex 0 is a leaf so what they are saying is vertex 0 should be the leaf in the graph so whatever tree we are drawing so in that it should be there okay so if they are forcing us to take that so let us start from 0 only guys so they are saying vertex 0 should be the leaf right so let us start from 0 itself okay yes so first of all let us round up the minimum values in this whole table guys Okay, so let us first write down the matrix first of all 2, 3 and 4. Similarly 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Okay, yes. So let us round up the minimum values. So other than self loops. Guys. So self loops will always have minimum value. Okay, so the first minimum value is this one guys. So that is in between 0 and 1. Okay, similarly the next minimum value is in between 0 and 3. But we should have 0 at the end, right? So, it should we let us start with 0. So, let us don't round up this. Because if we round up this, the for the problem which we will get is, so 0 will be here, 3 will be here and 1 will be here. So, at that situation, 1, 0 is not, no more the root, right? So, hence, let us avoid this, okay? So, this is done, this is done. So, what is the next minimum, guys? So, it is a 4, 3, right? Or is there any other value? Okay? So I think 4, 3 is the next minimum. Okay. So as it is a mirror matrix, I'm just cutting on the other side, guys. Okay. To just reduce confusion. Okay. Yes. So what is the next minimum? Okay. So, okay. So let us draw, guys. I think if we go in this way, we might lead to some confusions, right? Okay. So let us start drawing. So first, I need to safeguard 0. Okay. So once 0 is done, so now I am left with 1. So from 1, what is the minimum value, guys? So from 1, I can go to 3 directly. Okay. So now I got for 3. Okay. So now at 3, so basically 0 is done, 1 is done, 3 is done. So now I am left out with a 2. So from a 2, where I can go easily? Okay. So from a 2, where I can go easily? To 4, I can go easily because this cost is minimum, right? So from 2, I can go to 4. Okay, so this is an edge you can say. So from 2 is also done. So now I need to connect 4 with this part, right? Yes. So which is minimum? So 4 to 3 is minimum, right? Yes. So let us connect 4 through 3. Okay. So 4 to 3. Okay. Yes. So now it is a spanning tree, right? So if you count the number of vertices, so 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and number of edges, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Yes, so it is a spanning tree guys. Okay, yes. So now let us calculate the weight. That is nothing but the cost of the minimum cost of the spanning tree. So here 0 to 1 cost is a 1. 1 to 3. So 1 to 3 the cost is a 4. Similarly 3 to 4. 3 to 4 the cost is a 2. Similarly 4 to. Okay, so 4 to 2 the cost is a 3. So if you sum it, it is a 5 and it is a 5. In total you get a 10 as the answer guys. So few might be saying that so we got answer 8 or 7 so how they got the answer is so they will be keep on taking the minimum values guys so the best example for it is i i also assumed initially in that way only so let us take so if you take the first minimum value that is nothing but 0 to 1 it is a 1 okay similarly next minimum value is 0 to 3 okay so 0 to 3 is also 1 okay so from 3 you can go to 4 and from 4 you can go to 2 right so from 3 to 4 what is the cost so it is a 2 okay similarly 4 to 2 so 4 to 2 the cost is a 3 if you sum them what will be the answer guys 3 4 5 6 and 7 so now you will be saying that 7 is the minimum cost but there is a condition in the question so the condition is the graph must contain vertex 0 as a leaf so is vertex 0 a leaf guys no so that is the issue here. But here vertex 0 is the leaf. So that is the common mistake that most of the students will be doing here. Okay. Yes. So that is the reason why make sure that you are starting from 0 itself. 
because to reduce the confusion okay yes so i hope everyone got a clear idea on this so in the next lecture let us continue with the next question okay yes so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching like share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this thank you